Hi, this man here, his name is David Seaman, and uh, his video was deleted about Hillary Clinton um, being ill, but uh, Paul Joseph Watts on his uh, video got 3.5 million views, thank God, about Hillary having those strange seizures. But uh, in this video, David explains how he was terminated by Huffington Post um, for questioning about Hillary's health. And in this video, he will explain everything. And then after this video, I will um, show you the news article I found. Hey everybody, David here. Uh, so it's late on a Sunday night but I feel I have to document this because it just happened. Uh, I've taken some screenshots and uh, it's it's chilling. I still haven't really absorbed it because uh, Huffington Post, where I was a contributor, they have revoked my publishing access and they've deleted both of my articles that were published earlier over the weekend. Uh, both of my articles have been pulled without notice of any kind, uh, just completely deleted from the internet. Uh, and both of those articles mentioned Hillary's health, uh, which is both a hashtag on Twitter and I linked to a video that uh, a YouTuber, Paul Joseph Watson, had uploaded back on August 4th, showing signs that Hillary Clinton's health uh, is quite poor, showing something that appears to be either a seizure or an involuntary muscle spasm while she's questioned by a number of reporters. And that video since August 4th that... Uh, that Paul Watson put up has been viewed more than 3.5 million times. So it was a very newsworthy thing for me to link out to. People are talking about it. Uh, that hashtag has been quite popular. And whenever a video concerning a presidential candidate's health is viewed more than 3.5 million times, uh, somebody who's under contract to the Huffington Post and to AOL should be able to link out to that, especially as a journalist living in the United States of America I should be able to link out to that without having their account uh, revoked without any notice on, on a Sunday night, late on a Sunday night. It's 11 local my time, 11, 18 p.m. I don't like this. This is really not good. Uh, I've written hundreds of stories, filed hundreds of stories uh, over my years as a journalist and pundit, and I've never had anything like this happen. Uh, a couple of times in the past I've had, you know, issues where there were legal concerns with something that I had reported on, and so there was a discussion with editorial. Uh, this was not at the Huffington Post, this was at another publication, but they didn't simply delete the articles and make them disappear from the internet and revoke my access. That's not what happened uh, when there was another issue in the past. I've honestly never seen anything like this. You know, this is happening in the United States in 2016. Uh, <laughs> it's frankly chilling. I'm a little scared. You know, I'm doing this video also to say I am not suicidal right now. I am not a particularly, I'm not a particularly clumsy person. I don't own a car at the moment. I Uber around everywhere. So if I am to slip in the shower over the next couple days or something silly like that, we have to really kind of uh, employ probability and statistics here because I'm not a clumsy person, right? And I'm also not a depressed person right now. I'm a person who's spooked out though. This is spooky. To me, this is extremely spooky. I, I don't like it. And uh, privately, I had said to some of my friends that what's happening with some of the media companies in their coverage of this election, I've never seen anything like it. It's scary how they're not even booking guests to give opposing views. It's just these nonstop propaganda segments against Trump about how he's so racist and these like emotional knee jerk points over and over again that he's racist and he's sexist and he's this and he's that, but they're ignoring one very big issue that's starting to bubble up on the internet. Certainly, I would not have posted about it uh, had Paul Watson's video not already been viewed 3.5 million times, or videos not emerged from other publishers on YouTube. Uh, so this is something that's getting a lot of traction, and to delete my posts about it without notice on a Sunday night and to revoke my access, which has never been done to me before. Hundreds of successful articles have gone up uh, under the Huffington Post banner and then uh, in a previous relationship uh, before with Business Insider and some other publications. I've never experienced this as a journalist and pundit and researcher. I don't really know what to do. I just want to document it now 
while it's all fresh, I've taken some screenshots. We now have this video, at least it'll be archived. We can all spread the word. And in the morning, I can assure you when I've had a good night's sleep, I'm going to seek some very good legal counsel and uh, see what the next steps here are. Uh, thank you again so much, everybody who's who watched this tonight. I don't feel like I'm alone right now. Uh, again, I'm not depressed or anything. This just spooks me out. This is not good. This is not, uh, you know, a protection of my First Amendment rights. Not only as a citizen here publishing on U.S. soil, I'm not down in Brazil somewhere like Glenn Greenwald, and I'm not publishing controversial stuff. I just linked out to a fucking YouTube video that has been viewed 3.5 million times since the beginning of this month. And for Huffington Post to delete those posts without any notice, that is Orwellian. That is something that I've read about happening in mainland China or heard happen, uh, at least recently, with a publication that big. So something is up here. This is not, this is not unbiased coverage of this election. Thank you guys for watching. And again, thank you for having my back. Thank you for, uh, you know, just by watching this, you're a record of what's going on, right? You can correct the record if if something happens and they start to spin some, some bullshit narrative. You know, I'm perfectly fine. I'm not clumsy. I plan on reporting more on this. Certainly now the story is that they're deleting and censoring commentary on her health. Why is that? Do they not want more people to watch that video on YouTube? Is that what's going on here? Let's figure it out. I don't like mysteries like of this sort. Uh, so thanks again for, for having my back and for watching. Okay, if you guys think this guy is just paranoid, <clears throat> here are the screenshots. Um, Paul Joseph Watson did write this article here at Prison Planet. And uh, yeah, there's a sick old Hillary. But it says Huffington Post did uh, ban the journalist for writing about Hillary's health and deletes the article. Um, anyway, it just goes to explain, yeah, he, Paul got 3.5 million views. Um, I don't want to totally go over the whole article because that would be, you know, plagiarism and stuff. And I thought I'd play the video of this poor man, David Seaman, uh, you know, just being totally terminated from Huffington Post. But this is the tweet from uh, Paul Joseph Watson, and it says Huffington Post deleted uh, the post about Hillary's health video and banned the journalist who wrote the article. And that happened, you know, this morning, you know, about 12.36. And uh, he even wrote uh, other leftist news outlets, The Guardian, have also featured the video without the article immediately being deleted. And then this is uh, David Seaman's post. Uh, Huffington Post, it says, permission denied, warning, plug-in, internal callback was failed to give. And then it says, I can confirm my Huffington Post account is done. Is this China? Do people not have the First Amendment protections? And that was uh, last night. And uh, in a YouTube video posted in a response to the deletion of the article, Seaman describes the censorship as chilling and, chilling and Orwellian, and it's true. It says, it appears as though the main reason for the article being deleted was the fact that Seaman didn't automatically dismiss the entire issue as a conspiracy theory in line with the rest of the pro Hillary media. And it goes on. Um, this is the uh, Paul jo uh, Joseph Watson video, if you want to see it on YouTube. The truth about Hillary's bizarre behavior. But anyway, this is on prisonplanet.com. So if you want to check out the article, uh, go there um, but I just saw that this morning and I'm just going oh my god you know <clears throat> oh now I'm clearing my throat like she does oh my god I got Hillary's cell sickness <laughs> but anyway yeah check it out uh, 
It's sad.